second installment of my Halloween looks. If you did not catch my first one, go and check it out now. I'll leave the link in the description box below. It is my fancy feline glam Halloween makeup tutorial with both hair and makeup. For this one, this look was actually inspired by Rihanna and I took it to another level giving it more of a gothic feel. For the Bantu knots, I actually added hair which you will see in the video. And for this no septum piercing, it's fake. All it is is the little round loop part from this bracelet here. I just separated it and put it in there just to make it really easy and so that you aren't going out and buying extra accessories. I wanted to show you how to make and recreate this look with things that you already have at home. Make sure that you stay tuned, watch the video, let me know what you think of it, leave comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it does help me out. Lastly, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for your love, your support, and for watching my videos. Be sure to turn on the notifications so that you know every time I upload a video to my channel. As well, I wanted to invite you to follow me on social media. You can find me on Instagram at tots underscore 5678. That's T-O-T-S underscore 5678. You can find me everywhere else, Snapchat, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook. You can find me all of those places at TOTS5678. That's T-O-T-S 5678. And if you follow me on Snapchat, then you will know ahead of time and what looks to be looking for because I always post a little something about the videos that I'm filming. Anywho, I love you all. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Let's get to the tutorial. To stretch my hair, I put it in these little plaits overnight. I know, I know. Bye, Felicia. And now I'm going to take them all down and get ready to get started with the style. For the style, I am going to be using this rat tail comb and I'm going to start with the lower portion in the back of my hair. I'll bun the rest up and use my rat tail comb to begin creating my parts to get it as straight as I possibly can. Of course when you're winging it with no mirror it is a little difficult to get it um, perfectly straight but we are going to go for it. As you can see I'm parting my hair in a triangle in the center section and then I will clip the outer two sections out of the way. You'll see here that my triangle is a little bit lopsided but eh, who, who cares I'm going to fix it later. So I'm going to brush my hair out with a dimming brush just to knock out any tangles and to help make my Bantu knots look a little more thick and stand up a little more I'm going to add some hair using this braid hair in the shade 1B. I'm applying my All Organics Flexible Hold Edge Gel to my edges in all sections of I guess I should say the root portion of the triangle that I parted out. And then I am going to take just a little bit of braid hair. It won't take much. If you want them larger, then it's definitely add more, but I'm just adding a little bit at a time. I'm wrapping around that section, and then I will keep them in my hands on the outside and pull my hair into three parts and begin to braid. And as you can see, it just blends right on into my braid. Once I reach, I don't want to say halfway, but probably about an inch and a half of the braid down, then I'm going to split it into two sections and begin to twist all the way down to the end. Once I reach the end, it is now the time to twist. I'm going to hold the base. This just kind of helps me to anchor it, and then I will continue to wind the hair around the base and then tuck the ends underneath, and voila, there is my bantu knot. You can use bobby pins if you feel that you need to um, get a little more hold, but for the most part, if you wrap them good and snug, then you shouldn't have an issue. And you'll repeat those same steps all over for each bantu knot. On my middle sections, I will have a, maybe one extra bantu knot, possibly two, depending on how thick the hair is there. Again, I'm just braiding the hair in, and when I get halfway down, I begin to twist all the way to the end. And this is what your hair should look like. As you can see, my triangles kind of go opposite way in each row. As a guide, I did make sure that the top one was front and center. 
Now let's get started with the makeup. I'm starting with my brows and today I'm actually applying Wonder Brow. You have seen my review and if not, then I will definitely link that video in the description box below. Applying the Wonder Brow with my Sigma EO6 eyeliner brush. It gives me the most hair-like stroke, so I love this to apply. Then I'll brush it out with my spoolie to make it look a little more natural and then I'll define it using this Hard Candy Concealer Pencil. Then I'll blend that out and get started with my face makeup. I'm using two primers today. I'm starting with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Then I'll follow that up with the Lorac Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. I'm using two primers so that I will have the most flawless finish possible. And of course using a primer always makes your makeup last a little longer. I've been exfoliating a lot lately, which means all of the color goes out of my face, including that in the winter. So I'm using this LA Girl Orange Concealer, which is a color corrector, but it was a little too orange for me. So I decided to go into my City Color Cosmetics Color Correcting Palette and use the orange shade. As you can see, it gives me more of a peachy tone, which works best for me. And then I will also use the green to hide any redness that I have on my face. Um, and this is to balance the color in my face because of hyperpigmentation. Then of course you know I always use my NYX um, Dark Circle Corrector in the shade Medium. I could have used this alone, however I'm running low on it so I'm trying to stretch it. Of course I'm going for a kind of gothic, vampy look so I definitely want a good full coverage foundation which is my Kat Von D foundation in the shade medium 56. It is a lot lighter for me because my tan has not faded as of yet. So I'm mixing in these hard candy color drops which add um, a bit of color to my foundation and help to darken it up so that I don't have to buy a new foundation. They were only six dollars. I just bought these from Walmart and I absolutely love the drops. I've been using it and mixing it with a few different foundations and love it. As you can see, I went ahead and blended in the foundation with my brush and then following up with my Real Technique sponge to make give me more of an airbrush finish. Now I'm going in to highlight my face using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium and also to camouflage my dark circles. I'll blend the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in with my Real Technique sponge. Once I'm done, this is also a new product that I picked up from Walmart. I'm just trying all kinds of new products, as you can see. This is the Flower Beauty Loose Powder in the shade L02. Now I'm going in with my Morphe Contour Palette in 06F and using the darkest shade to contour. I'm contouring my forehead, my cheekbones, collarbones, and then I usually like to blend it on down my neck to make sure everything blends. Then I'll follow up with my Lorac Highlight and Bronzer Duo using the bronzer shade just to warm my face back up and going back over all the places where I contoured, or most of them, really the forehead, cheekbones, and lower jawline and into my neck. After that, of course, I forgot to contour my nose and I must have that nose on point, right? So I'm just going to blend the contour into my nose and get ready to apply my blush. Of course, you guessed it, I'm using my Sigma um, Aura Powder in the shade Corde Rosa for my cheeks. I'm absolutely in love with this shade. But to deepen it up and give it more of a cool tone for this look, I went in with my NYX Bronzer in the shade D. And as you can see, that gave me more of a cool tone, but also warmed my cheeks up a little bit. Then I'm setting everything in with my NYX Set It Don't Fret It Powder in the shade Medium Dark. I keep my eyes very minimal and very neutral, so I'm applying Foxy and Walk of Shame out of my Naked Basic palette to my lid. Then I'm going in with Naked 2 and applying it in the outer V and also in the crease of my eye just to give it a little bit of definition. As you can see, I'll continue to blend and make sure that it looks very neutral. Now I'll be creating a wing using my Inglot liner in the shade 77. Once I have my wing created, just to save on time, I'm going to use my NYC eyeliner in the shade black just to fill in the wing and make sure that it's nice and precise. Time. Time. 
to tight line my eyes, I'm using my black coal pencil by Rimmel London. And then I will also bring this down and put it in my waterline just to smoke it out. I am being a little messy with it because I do want it to bleed over and then I will smudge it out using a brush. To follow it up, make it more intense and also mattify it and set it in place, I'm using Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in the shade Corrupt. And then I will apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes using my favorite mascara which is the L'Oreal Telescopic. And I applied these lower eyelashes that I got from eBay. And then I also got these feather lashes on eBay for only $1. Can you believe it? Aren't they super cute? I was a little intimidated to um, apply them. But as you can see, they went on super easy. And they are very lightweight, like surprisingly so. In case you were wondering, I am using some eyelash tweezers that I also picked up on eBay for $1. Don't you just love eBay? Anywho, I'm back. So I wasn't pleased with the eyes, so I decided to extend the inner corner using the Inglot Gel Liner. And as you can see, it gave me a nice gothic almond eye. Now I'm going in for highlighter using the City Color Cosmetics Highlighting Trio. It is very pigmented and very buttery. And I am, of course, highlighting my Cupid's bow, cheekbones, nose. And I decided to take it a little stronger and higher using my Mary Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics. And as you can see, it gives me a very nice strobe and a very nice glow. I'll set everything in place using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and voila. Now for the lips, I'm taking that Rimmel London Coal Liner that I use to tight line my eyes, but on top of the moisturizer that was on my lips and of course the makeup that got on my lips it came out a little gray so I followed up using a L'Oreal smoldering pencil. Now I'm applying the NYX liquid suede lipstick in the shade Alien. I love this black color and this is actually my favorite liquid lipstick formula because it is so super comfortable and this is the final look. that you love this look as much as I did and that you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.